Hi it all, so welcome back, and if you are new, hello, my name is Jessie, and today we are going to react to Season 3, Episode 3 of Never Have I Ever Opened a Textbook. Jay ran into the room that we recorded, and so there goes my ring light, and there go my glasses, but it's not stopping me, because I am watching Episode 3, because what the heck happened at the end of Episode 2? She chased after Paxton, she left Ben inside, Paxton got hit by a car? And he definitely hurt himself, so let's jump into this. But before we do, don't forget to throw a like up or a dislike if you do or do not like what you see. But comment down below and let me know why. Subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. It is $5 a month. That's $1.25 a week and it has all of my unedited reactions for everything that I do on YouTube in addition to more. But without further ado, this is Season 3, Episode 3 of Never Have I Ever opened a textbook. This is Paxton Hall Yoshida, a model, designer, activist, and a former 16-year-old from California, Gigi Hadid. I relate to this kid. We're both constantly underestimated because people only see us as sex symbols. This is like when we had Andy Samberg for Ben's voiceover. <laughs> That's all everyone thinks you have to offer the world, but we've got brains too, and Feelings and oh my Paxton, God. dude, push. <laughs> dude, you're like really hurt, bruh. Uh, yeah, he was like really hurt, bruh. But it wasn't just his arm. Trent. Oh, he's Paxton's not even life, looking at her. It's been nothing but chaos and him. confusion. Still prettier than you are. Hey, I have a vibrant countenance that people find relatable and appealing. Paxton wasn't it's really the nice jealous hair. type. I mean, Ben Gross, really. <laughs> If I can be better. Mm. What did Ben Gross <laughs> have that Paxson didn't? Besides a screening room. I am nevertheless no she allowed persisted. to test you guys on your feelings about history. Multiple choice? Yeah, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Can we choose two <laughs> answers for a question, or do we have to commit to just one? Interesting, Ben. I am definitely open to there being multiple answers. Let's all read the chalkboard for a second. Love this teacher. Can't believe you got played by dorks. Coyote girl cheated on you with that young Sheldon looking dude. And now you smell like wet cast. Anyone want to sign my cast? Paxson had no shortage of female admirers. Remember when she fell in that guy's pool? That guy? You mean Ben, your ex-boyfriend? Oh, right. Remember when she had that weird party? And that guy fell off the roof? <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Thank you for meeting with me. No problem. I didn't even know this room was here. You might not swim for Stanford. Well, I'd still be cool with going to Stanford, even mm. if I can't swim there. Yeah, oh, but you sweetie. are only going because of I swimming. I think I'm fine with anything, as long as it's, you know, close to a beach, has a good basketball team, and the classes aren't too hard. But, like, some smart people still go there. Are your parents extremely wealthy? No. No. In that case, perhaps a two-year or... Very a, accurate. But you'll need to significantly improve your GPA. Would you be open to being tutored? This girl is an academic beast. Sorry, she didn't tell me it was you. She was some sort of bet with your cool friends. What? No. I mean, Why are me. you in his house? What are you doing? Wait, do you usually come to Yeah, house what are you when I'm doing? Home? Yep. I find it's a peaceful place to sit with my thoughts. Or to watch porn. Ew. Who needs college? After high school, I'm going straight to YouTube. Get this. I'm going to react to reaction videos. Hey! Yikes. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing with myself. Oh, I'll tell you what you're doing. You're hanging out with me. Now that you're free, we can party every day. Like, hey, and you're not doing it. You're not even moving the left joystick. Oh, He's wow, sad. dude. That reaction was kind of weird. <laughs> dude, that's a surprising reaction. Nice. Really descriptive, bro. <laughs> I love it. Your reaction to my reaction to their reactions just made my life, brah. Exactly the same. For the rest of our lives, baby! Oh gosh, he's oh. like, no. This is terrible. Poor Baxton. This is so, so terrible. Because not only does he lose Davy, who he was falling in love with, but now his whole entire college career is ruined and his arm's broken and he is sad. This is sad. Huh? I need you. To help me get into college. Oh, wow. This book has not been opened before. 
You can hear so, it like separate start? the pages. No. You mean where should you start? I can't do that. That would be cheating. No. Cool. Then you should be really good at it, huh? <gasps> Paxton, oh. let me explain. Explain what? How you thought you could get away with dating both of us? I'm really, really sorry. Look, I could honestly give a shit about you and Ben Gross, all right? But you trashed my chances at a swimming scholarship. You just leave it right there. Uh, I mean, what Davy did to Paxton was cruel, but this is straight up humiliating. You're crazy Davy, you made me explode myself. Crazy. And Paxton wasn't enjoying punishing her as much as he thought he would. It's like when you see an overly photoshopped swimsuit photo of yourself. Your butt may look right and tight, but you know you didn't earn it. Huevos. Bueno, muchísimas gracias. Hey, Rebecca. Cool fit as always. Thanks, Davy. See ya. Words of wisdom coming. The reason I don't have any dignity. <laughs> no. Ouch, Jesus, Rebecca. She's the reason I don't have a chance at a scholarship anymore. I worked so hard to get into my fashion program. Don't you want to be proud of yourself? I just want to go to college. And the right thing to do would be to have her tutor you, like she thought she was going to do, not force her into doing your stuff for you. I know he feels desperate. Maybe you don't deserve to go. No. Damn, Rebecca. Drag his ass. Truth yeah. is what he needs to hear. Paxton's parents, Kevin and June Hall Yoshida. How weird is it that I was just saying in the last reaction that I want more of Paxton? I want to know about his family and his life. And now this so, whole episode uh, Paxton, is Paxton. Paxton, what did you call? Uh, he said email is broken. So could you uh, go by after school? I have to raise my grades. Yeah. I know. I got it covered. Someone's got it covered. But you know, honey, our family values kindness over achievement. Yeah. You guys don't think I can get into college? No, honey, that's not what we meant. If you don't go to college, that is totally okay. You know, just ha hang back. Look at the store with me. Yeah, and we always sell so many sports bras during your shifts. <laughs> Whoa, these are <laughs> They're maybe. not trying to insult him, and he's clearly taking it as an insult, but they're just trying to say what is obvious, which is that he doesn't pay attention to his classes. He doesn't try hard. He doesn't focus on anything else other than swimming. Again, it's kind of like with Rebecca. Rebecca's just a little more harsh when she says it, but they're they're doing the same thing. They're just trying to tell him the truth, but make him feel accepted at the same time. I want to go to college. You do? Of course. I, I want an education, a career. You're going to have to work really hard. I, I can work hard. Why don't you think I can work hard? I'd like to answer that. No, please don't. Hearing his parents excuse him from even trying to go to college really cut Paxton to the core. It needs to be at least eight letters. Oh man, that's too many letters. I'm old. <laughs> Yeah. So handsome. Mm. Just like his grandfather. Uh, <laughs> Gramps has a girlfriend. I noticed all those hearts on the cast. Yeah, you know. I get it from you. Hey, OG John? Yeah. Can I ask you something? Sure. Do you think I'm too stupid to go to college? What? You were fluent in Japanese by the time you were five. When I was ten I got the OG John. Yeah. Okay. I made you a chicken. I'm busy, Gladys. That's all his girls well, Paxton, comments is The doing. only opinion of you that truly matters is yourself. Your family heirlooms. Some of them are very old. Really? Mm -hmm. Because this is the novelization of Avatar. Fantastic family heirloom. That is heirloom. Heirloom. That is so sweet. I love that. That is definitely what he needed to hear in a loving, sweet way. Ochi-chan is Japanese for grandfather. I actually learned that in Pen15. And I think it's sweet that, that Paxton finally has somebody to kind of confide in and kind of take it low-key and just have an actual conversation stress-free with. Ochi-chan is the coolest. Now, how about some chicken? I forgot to put a hole in it for the birds. Yeah, I actually don't want you to do my homework anymore. Is it because of how bad the birdhouse is? Wait a minute, is there a roof on the bottom of it, too? <laughs> I panicked. Can you tutor me? Like, for real? There you go. Of course. Awesome. Look. Whoa. You think the whole country of Russia sat down at a typewriter and wrote an essay? I don't know. Wrap all the facts like they did in Hamilton? <laughs> I can't do that. I don't know how. Where's Lynn Manuel Miranda when you need him? Soviets put out Sputnik, but they can suck a dick. Guy can't. I'm failing. Just remember what Sputnik was? Oh, I did. Ta da! I was learning. <laughs> what is 
a boy doing in your room with the door closed. He wants tutoring. Fine, but you can you can tutor him from further away, right? Move! Okay. It's studying, not tango class. <laughs> What's your ethnicity? Oh, uh, let me have three guesses. No, 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 no. Let's, let's not do that. Come, come. Oh my God, I've got it. I will be your overbearing Indian mother. <laughs> that could work. Boy, stop. You know what you're doing with those bedroom eyes. Oh, nice. Why can't you be more like your cousin? Hmm? Hmm? My cousin works at a weed dispensary. So let me just dispense some knowledge into your brain. Yo, Maxi Packs. Told you not to call me that, bro. No doubt. But look, I snuck the answers to the test while Shapiro was out eating an acai bowl. Look, uh... wrote them on my thigh. You studied? Why can't you be more like your cousin, the weed dealer? Words of wisdom from Trent. We it's can okay, do this, Paxton. Paxton. Yeah, you're fine. Remember what NATO is. Ugh, only an asshole would smile during a test. Just start writing packs. Write anything. No, 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 no. Don't panic. Take a deep. Oh, no, he's having a panic attack. Oh. Oh, damn. My, my heart was racing, and I felt like I couldn't breathe. I mean, all over a history test. What's wrong with me? I think you had a little panic attack. Were you good at the butterfly the first time you tried it? Yeah, I set a school record. Oh, wow, that's famously a very hard stroke. It means you care. You care about school. Oh, damn. Let's go, I wanna talk to your teacher. Are you down? Get up, let's go. Okay, okay. Let's go, okay. Now. You're teaching him that it is not okay for young men to be vulnerable and are therefore furthering the agenda of toxic masculinity. Yeah. Oh well my played. God. Well played. <laughs> you can take that test again. Really? <laughs> Thanks, Mr. S. Uh, I'll be there. Seeing Davy chumming it up with Paxton was more than Ben could bear. Whatever, Hadid. Why you gotta be so possessive? I'm out. <laughs> you gotta be. I gotta be. That's sick. That's, That's great. Start. Thanks for pushing me, by the way. Of course. The other thing we really don't need to talk about that we're cool really wow that's a relief i mean there's no way it would have worked out i mean we just don't make any sense you know yeah i agree <laughs> i agree with that 100 percent but are you saying it because you actually believe it or are you saying it because you're being a little conceited in the fact that, like, she's a nerd and you're popular? Right. Right. Tutor and 2T seems like a much more natural relationship between us. Exactly. You see, Zoe Maytag wasn't overly concerned with leaving room for others. That's Zoe. Check this out. Be like, I did it by myself. Uh, B. Did Davey have a bad day? No, I had a good day. I even read all the words on the pages. He Rebecca. taught you how to read? Yes, Rebecca. Someone get her on Twitter. We need her realness. You're right. Could you try these on? I think you're the same size as Kendall Jenner. I think I'm more of a Kylie, but... I gotta yeah, get back to my Kylie. super fulfilling life as a multi net. I hope we've all learned that we shouldn't judge a book by its cover. John McEnroe, back to you. All right, very cool. So I got my Paxton episode. I didn't think I was going to get it that fast. I didn't think I was actually even going to get a whole entire episode, but that was perfect. We got to meet his parents. We got to meet his OG John. We got more of Rebecca, which is always awesome. And he learned a good lesson, which is you can't force people into doing everything for you. You have to put the effort in and do it yourself. He's only used to doing that with swimming. He's not used to doing that with anything else. So it was nice and refreshing to see him do that and go through that and actually get it quick enough to make an impact where he, he got a B. That's really good. His relationship with Davey now is going to to be different and I would like a little more insight as to what he meant by that comment where he said you know we wouldn't make sense because I 100% agree they don't make sense again what do they have in common like they they have chemistry I won't deny that when they're together they when they're flirty and you know goofing around back and forth they definitely have chemistry it definitely is cute but Again, like pros and cons, pros and cons. 
all of his pros were like, he's good looking. And, you know, and the pros for Ben were actually compatible things. However, I don't see Ben and her happening now anytime soon. I feel really bad for him. I would have liked to see a conversation with him, but I get it was Paxton focused this episode. So I'm sure we're going to get that in the next episode. I want to see the conversation between her and Ben because Ben, I, I want to hear what he has to say. I want him to pour his heart out and I want her to kind of understand what she did and how he's feeling. I don't think she realizes how upset and how hurt he is. And so again, I would love to see that. We didn't get anything from Fabiola or our Eleanor, but that's fine. Probably the next episode too. Again, it was it was solely Paxton based, so I I really liked it. I liked it a lot, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see the dynamic of the three, the love triangle moving forward. Everyone throw a like up or a dislike if you do or do not like what you see, but comment down below. Let me know why I subscribe if you have not yet. We do fun things here. Ring a ling a ling the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Don't forget to check the link down in the description for my Patreon. Was that it? Yeah, I think that was it. So long, everyone. Try and make someone smile today. You never know when you might need it next. Bye.